Hi, I'm Felicity. Let's have a get well, stay well moment on exercise for children. From the moment they're born, they love to be picked up and rocked in our arms. They love movement. It reminds them of the reassuring movements they felt in their mother's womb. When we hear a new baby cry, we instinctively want to pick it up and move with it. The movement comforts them. Mothers in the West use baby slings. Many around the world still work in the fields with their babies strapped to their backs. The babies are lulled by the closeness, warmth, and the movement of their mother's bodies. As the baby gets heavier, we move them onto a baby bouncer so he or she can start exercising by themselves. The baby is now able to initiate movement themselves by bouncing. Baby bouncers are a great innovation. The baby is held safely and securely. It can't get itself into trouble and it can watch the mother as she moves around the room. So the baby bouncers are comforting both visually and physically. The next exercise is the baby walker. The baby now moves around by pushing its legs even before it can walk. The baby started a lifetime of exercise. As children grow, they naturally love to take exercise. It should be in fresh air whenever warm enough. They love to run and climb and local parks and good nurseries provide the right facilities in a relatively safe environment. However, they still need to be watched every second. Accidents happen so quickly I still remember my own children falling into swimming pools in a nanosecond and having to be fished out almost before they even knew they were in danger. Life sports like water wings are essential when non-swimming children are near any pools, rivers or the sea. However, they do love to learn to swim when they're little. The more active the child is in the daytime, the sounder it will sleep at night. The countryside is definitely the best place for children to grow up. It's vital to avoid pollution as much as possible. As soon as a child understands sports, that happy it will be moving towards a sport he or she enjoys and can excel at. Team sports like football, netball and basketball can be such a guiding light in the learning skills, social interaction and discipline. It's good to see how many Christian athletes give thanks to God for their winning performances. Try to get the children involved in an absorbing outdoor sport which will carry them through the difficult teenage years and keep them on the right path to health. Lots more information on my website, felicitycorbinwheeler.org. Thank you.